Hi, I'm Carrie Lawless, and we are Designaholics. On this channel, we teach DIY hacks, how to achieve high-end looks on a budget, and how to make the most money when you sell your home through staging. On today's DIY, we needed artwork to fill up a big wall in a little girl's room, and I'm so excited with you to share how we accomplished that and how you can do it on a budget, so stay with us. So the two things we're putting together, I found these adorable prints on Amazon. Oh my gosh, are they so cute. They were, I don't know, I think less than $30 for all six of them. They're eight by 10. And look how cute. And they all have that element of pink. So we've got a lot of pink going on here. And this is going to pull it all together and then give us the warm tones. In addition, I found a great deal on these frames from Ross, they're $8.99 a piece. I did find six of them all at one store, which is amazing. And um, they've got that barn wood kind of feel and then the white mat, so it's really a steal. So we are gonna get started putting these together right now and show you how it came out on the wall behind me. So let me teach you a little trick though, because Ross really can frustrate me with these tags. The glue is so strong. So um, really, it's probably better to use a heat gun, uh, but all we have is a hairdryer. So Natalia's gonna hold this on there for a minute, get the sticker hot and sticky, and then I'm gonna just start pulling it off. It comes right off. Now, the longer you hold it on, the less residue you're gonna have, but let me teach you a little trick that I found out about residue. Um, this is one of my favorite things in the world. So this can actually clean stainless steel among like a hundred other things that you can find online uh, beautifully, but it also takes off sticky mess. It's gonna leave a little bit of an oily residue, but there you go. It just took us a few seconds to get that price tag off. And then we're just gonna clean, sorry. <laughs> we're just gonna clean this frame and then we're gonna get started. So let's just open up these packages. Oh, we've got two different kinds. Well, anyway, so you just slide these to the side. What we're gonna do, just open up the backs of these. Oh, look how cute she is. <laughs> All right, so we have an 8 by 10 opening and an 11 by 14 mat. And so we're just going to position this over the opening as straight as we can. You can pretty much see visually the space around it. And if you like to measure, feel free. I'm not a measuring kind of girl. Here you go, ma'am. Um, this is not archival quality tape. This is Dollar General tape. But also feel free to upgrade your tape as well. And then I'm just gonna put a piece on all four sides, just to hold it down. So cute. All right, and then we'll just put this back together. Slide the little tabs. Ta -da! She's so cute. I love these little animals. By the way, the link's gonna be in the description below for uh, Amazon for these. And if you don't find these at Ross, because Ross is hit or miss, I'm sure Hobby Lobby on a 40% off sale, 50%, whatever, would have something real similar to this. You can also check out TJ Maxx and um, places like that. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. How are they together? Sweet. Oh, so sweet. We're gonna do the other three and we'll show you what they look like on the wall. Look how cute these came out. I yeah, love every detail. Yes, so pretty. I'm Carrie Lawless and we are Designaholics. Thank you so much for staying with us. And there's plenty more to come. So make sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.